Good morning, YouTube. Tim with Outdoors for Adventure. Coming at you with a scenario this morning. Let's say you're hiking in the woods and uh, you're trying to cross a stream. And when you're crossing the stream, you slip on a rock and let's say you break your leg. You got wet. So you need to get dry. You need to splint your leg so you can make it back out of the woods. Hopefully you've got a backpack. But what if you was just out, not for a full day hike? You know, maybe you just went out there without a backpack and you didn't have uh, your supplies in your backpack. But you still needed to, to splint your leg. Uh, maybe you needed to get a fire going to dry off, to warm up. Uh, and you need the signal for help. But no backpack, no supplies in your backpack. Uh, maybe you've got a pocket knife with you. But more than likely, you know, uh, that's about all you've got. Or maybe you've got your cell phone, but you don't have cell signal. So uh, if you go out in the woods like that by yourself much, I think it's a good idea to carry a survival bracelet with you. And uh, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the survival bracelet and, and show you how to tear it down to adjust it to fit your wrist. Now, I've got mine like this. I figured it'd be easier to kind of show you what it looked like. But if you don't like the black up on top, you can twist it around to where you see your cording instead of this black. I've wore it both ways and it's comfortable both ways. But I did a little video um, showing you how to tear it down to adjust it. And this is for a pre-made bracelet. And I, I show you uh, some of the options that this has. But uh, I do think it's a good idea if you're out hiking in the woods to throw one of these around your wrist. You know, there's uh, plenty you can do with this to save yourself. You have your cordage that you could splint your leg. Uh, you know, if you needed to tie some sticks around it or something to keep it supported, you've got your cordage. You've got a fire striker that you could start a fire with. You have a whistle that you could uh, blow to signal for help. And there's also a compass to guide your way to keep you from getting lost. So this is a good and I think essential item if you're out in the woods hiking. So let's get on with me uh, showing you how you can adjust this. And I'm also going to show you uh, that the uh, striker will spark. If this is your first time visiting our channel, be sure to go check out uh, some of our past videos. Uh, we do a lot of outdoor related videos, as the name implies. Uh, but if you like this type of stuff, go down and hit the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up on our videos. And be sure to comment because we enjoy y'all's feedback. This morning, I want to talk about these survival bracelets. You can pick these up at a pretty reasonable price, pre-made, or you can make them yourself. But, uh... With my limited time, I don't have time to sit down and just make a whole lot of these. So, uh, I bought this one pre-made off of Amazon. Uh, as you can see, I'm wearing one already. Now, this one, it was a bit too big. So, I had to uh, take it apart and resize it so it fit my wrist. Now, on these particular survival bracelets, they come with a compass, and they come with a striker to spark a fire. They also have a whistle. Pretty loud. And on this end, it comes with the little metal. It's in there pretty good. Once you get it out one time, it's easier to get out. Okay. It comes with this little striker plate. It's got a serrated edge right here. And that is 
what you strike this rod with. Now, as you can see, there's a black coating on there, and you have to get that black coating off before it'll actually make a spark. And it's got like a, you can use that in for like a little screwdriver if you need to. But it just slides in your buckle here. Fits pretty tight. Let's see here. But these are really handy to have. This paracord, there's, I'd say from nine to 10 feet of paracord on these. Really nice, heavy paracord. I think they look pretty nice. But to, a lot of these, when you get them, you know, if, if your wrist isn't as big as what they, they measured them out for, you, you can resize them. So, uh, so I want to kind of show you how you do that. Okay, we're going to take this brown survival bracelet. And as you can tell, right here is where they cut the cord, paracord, and they burnt the end. There's one there, and then there's one on this side. And we're going to pull those out. Do a little work here. Sometimes you might need to take a needle nose to do it. But mostly with these, you can get them out pretty good. But there's that one that's loose. And then there's that one. Both of them are loose. So we're just going to keep pulling all the loops out. Of course, the first thing you need to do before you start this process is you need to put around your wrist and make sure it don't fit. But this one's too big. It needs to be about a half inch shorter than what it is. But if your wrist is a little bit bigger than mine, you might get lucky and they might fit you right out of the bag and you won't have to do this. But you just pull these out until you get to the other other buckle. Now we won't be tearing this completely apart because I'm not showing you how to make them. I'm just showing you how to resize one that's already made. So I said you just keep pulling all these loops out. It'll take you just a little bit. There's at least, I'm going to say nine to ten foot of cord on this bracelet. Enough that in an emergency situation, if you needed to splint your leg or your arm, or if you needed to tie some sticks branches or something together to kind of make you a shelter i mean there's just all kinds of things having cordage could help you with if you're out in the woods in a survival type situation and i know a lot of times you say well i've got my backpack with all my gear in it. But these are for them times, this would be for those times that maybe you don't have your backpack. Maybe you ventured away from camp without your backpack because you know you're going to be right back. So you don't have your supplies. All you have would be this bracelet. And like I said, with this bracelet, you have cordage. You have a way to start a fire. You have a compass. 
have a sharp edge on that little striker. This little flat screwdriver that you might find a use for. In fact, you probably could have used it if the ends on these bracelets are melted a little bit too good to where they kind of melted together and you're having problems getting them broke loose. You can use that little screwdriver edge to get these this cordage broke loose. And we're almost to the end. And this was called a Cobra wrap. And I like this design. I think they look pretty good. And I'm hoping y'all can see this. I've actually already done this once to a blue bracelet. And when I rewatched it, I wasn't, I was too close to the camera and y'all couldn't see nothing. So we're redoing it. Okay, I'm to the end now. So I've got, okay, yeah, that's it right there. Now that's where they've got it. And to, I need to make it shorter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to this end and I'm going to pull. All right, this, this will be your first knot right here. That's how they looped it to the first buckle. And then it goes to this buckle. Okay. We've got it undone. I'm going to fit it around my wrist kind of just to kind of see what I think I need. I need about an inch. So I'm going to come. To, this is where the first knot, this is where the cordage was put on the first buckle. So I'm going to go to the second one. And I can see I need to pull this up. So I'm going to pull this in about where I think I need to go with it. Get about an inch out of there. Then I'm gonna pinch this side. And I'm gonna pull it through. Oops, I dropped it. I'm gonna pull that loose through. Now that should be about right. And I know it's confusing watching me do this, but you'll figure it out. It's pretty easy. Okay, I've got that about where it needs to be. And remember, when you wrap this, it's actually going to get a little bit smaller. So you, you want a little bit bigger than what you think it needs to be. Now to wrap this, flip this over. You're going to take... I'm going to take this back, the back side. To me, to y'all, it'd be the front. But you come over your bracelet. Let me flip around like this. Maybe I can show you more. First cord, you come over your bracelet. Okay? Now this, this cord here, it's going to go over the one you just brought across. And then it's going to go behind the bracelet. And then you'll go up through the one you brought over to start with. Okay? And then you're going to pull it tight. I try to, you know, Keep these straight and just pull it tight. I pull it pretty good, especially on that first loop. Okay, now you see how this loop is over this? You can see the length here, and over here you see the one going this way. Well, you always will start, your next string will be this side. So it'll come over. This will come on top of that. 
and then it goes behind and then it'll go through this loop. And then you'll pull tight. Now the same, this is the one that you'll start with next. It'll come over like that and then this side will go over that one and it will go behind the bracelet and through the loop. And you'll pull it tight. And you just keep doing that till you get to the other end. Okay, as you can see, I'm getting pretty close to the end of my other buckle. And that's what they call the cobra knot. And you just keep going. And I'll show you from the side I look at. But like I was saying, you see where this loop is? That means that's the one you're going to start. Every time you know what string to use because of this difference. This is over the loop, and this one, the loop is over the string. So this is the one you want to start with. And you just go over. This one will be over. So it look like that. And I always say over, over, and then under, and then you gotta go through right there. And then you'll pull. And I had to push it up a little bit, keep it even, and just pull. And it's just easier for me to just do it without, it's kind of awkward trying to show it to the camera, but like this, you know, loop is right there. I don't know if y'all can see this or not. But I go over the bracelet. And then I take this string and go over the string. And then same string under the bracelet. And then up through the loop. And then pull tight. Over. Over under and through and pull over over under and through and pull now we're getting close to the end pull it pretty tight here I go all the way up to it, over, over, under, and through, and then pull. I'm going to go one more time. I said there's still a little bit of gap right here. I'm going to go one more time. So over over, under, and through. And you just pull. Okay, I pulled that one really good and tight. That's as far as I'm going to go with it. Then you're gonna take your scissors and I cut them, I leave about a quarter of an inch long. And before you cut these, make sure it fits your wrist because you may have to take it back apart and redo it. I'm hoping I got it right. Okay, once you get everything rewrapped it look like that. That's your Cobra wrap. 
And you're going to take and you're going to cut the excess string after you make sure it fits your wrist. Well, my scissors are kind of dull. And after you cut that, you're going to burn your ends. Now, I always melt them on there pretty good, but you don't want to touch that because that stuff's hot and it'll stick to you. But that's a completed bracelet and it fits my wrist good now. See the spark? I'll put it back in this to give me a little better leverage because I have some finger issues. But you can take that out and strike it without this being in the buckle. But as you can see, it does make sparks. So you have a way to start fire, you have a compass, and like I said, when it's like this, away from this metal, I don't know why, what it has to do with it, but it's pointing the right way, west, south, but when it's, it's away from this, it, it's pointing true west, north, south and east it's it's moving like it needs to move but when it's buckled it throws it off it's saying west is south unbuckled though west is west and in emergency situation you're out in the woods you need help broke your leg or something, you would do your SOS with the whistle. SOS is three beeps, pause. Three beeps, pause. So you would wait. Wait. And hopefully someone hear you and they will come and, and rescue you. And uh, also, if you're having issues with some uh, wild animals, uh, blowing a whistle may actually scare them off. At least you would hope so. But anyway, I just want to talk to you a little bit about these survival bracelets. They're really handy to have, and as you can see, the whistle got my bird stirred up. But uh, they're really handy to have. To me, it's not uncomfortable. It's no different than wearing a watch. And uh, if you need paracord when you're out in the wild to uh, tie some sticks together and make a shelter or make a sling or uh, if you hurt your leg and you needed to uh, put a brace on it and tie it, you know, you've got plenty of paracord here for emergency situations. Uh, they say this, that serrated edge, I guess if you gnawed on something enough, you could cut something with it. Uh, kind of a screwdriver type end on it. But I really like them. I think it's a good idea if you're out in the woods hiking, you know, uh, to have one of these on. Uh, it's just a good idea for survival situations. But my main thing is when you order these, a lot of times they're going to be too big or too small. And you can take the cording loose and tighten them up 
to where they fit you better. But I think they're pretty cool. It's a good handy thing to have. So that's all I have for you this morning. So that's what I thought I'd share with you this morning. I know there's been uh, times that I've run across some of these and I thought, well, I'm gonna get one and then I tried it on and it just swallowed my wrist, you know, it was too loose. And at that time, I didn't know anything about how they were made. And uh, I watched videos online and I learned, and there's different type of weaves you can get, different kind of looks you can get. But I like this cobra look, cobra knot. I believe that's what they call it. It's really simple. I like the width of this. Uh, but once I figured out, how to do it i went ahead and purchased some and uh, as you can see I, I made them to fit my wrist my comfort zone and i said you can wear this up top or you can flip it and wear it on bottom but i think they look pretty good and i just wanted to share with y'all in case y'all had never taken one of these apart uh now i said these were already made so I didn't do a full tear down uh, if you want to make them there's videos online that show you how to loop it through the buckles and it's no big deal uh, but for me I'd rather just buy them already made and if I need to adjust them out I'll adjust them out uh, it's just something I choose not to spend time doing is making the bracelet bracelet which it wouldn't take much longer, you know, if you got to adjust it. But it just, to me, saves hassle. You know, I've got everything I need already here. I just get it to fit my wrist and I'm good to go. So that's my Immerse the Bracelet little video. Hopefully y'all uh, learned a little something from it. If you've never messed with one of these before. Uh, I think they're really handy. In, in a pinch, an emergency situation, I'd rather have one. To not have one. So thank y'all for watching. Be sure to go down there and hit the subscribe button and uh, click that bell so you get notifications when new videos are posted. And I hope y'all enjoyed this little video. Uh, y'all have a good week and we will talk to you soon.